This is where we What's put our very own Arsenal in the I've got to do poems now, I've got to do my own names. Oh, well, going on here? Under, well, you're a man of any talent. <laughs> uh, Arsenal Invincible under the microscope and put him to some of the biggest football stories of the day, to him. Uh, all, all Ray needs to do, right, Ray? <laughs> you, all you need why to yeah, do yeah, is tell us yay, nay, and why, right? Yay, go. Yeah, or nay. I say yay, go. Uh, right, first up, question one. Arsenal host Palace at the Emirates tomorrow lunchtime, live and exclusive on TalkSport. The Gunners have lost the last three games on the bounce and now sit fourth in the Premier League, five points off the top of the table. Ray, if Arsenal don't win tomorrow against Palace, are they out of the title race, yay or nay? Well, certainly... Uh, yay or nay first? I would say nay, because there's so many games left to go and you never know what form Liverpool are going to be in towards the end and Man City, but it would be a, another massive problem if they lose um, tomorrow because of coming off three defeats you've got to get back to winning ways you've had that little break um, but there's still a lot of points to play for you know so it's a weird do, season this year I know De Bruyne go- is back now and Man City <laughs> going to be really strong probably finishing uh, they still got to go to the Etihad to play as well um, how did they overcome in front of goal not scoring well they've got to they've got to get other players scoring goals you know, you can't just rely on one player. You've got to get Odegaard back scoring. You've got to get Martinelli back on the score sheet. You've got to get Saka scoring more on a more regular basis. You've got to even see Declan Rice getting a few goals here and there from the midfield. Mm. So I think you've got to spread it around the team a little bit more. Well. He's been great for them, hasn't he? Oh, he's been brilliant. He's been their probably best player this season. I know he's gone for a little bit bad spell the last couple of games, but he's been good. But to ask you a question, it would be a nay because there's so many points to play for, but... You would also they would drift massively yeah. in the market in a, if, if they do uh, if they do lose tomorrow. Well, I remember seeing months there'd be ago, double figures at least when Ivan Tony was banned. I thought Arsenal should buy him now, get him on the cheap, buy him now, put up one, wait for him mm. to be allowed back in. Then they've got a striker to come in, and I wish they'd have done that, Ray. Uh, but Ivan Tony returns to action this weekend for Brentford as his eight-month ban from football for betting breaches comes to an end. He raised eyebrows this week after reiterating his desire to play for a top club competing for trophies. Ray, will the Brentford fans give Tony a good reception? Yeah, nay, and why? I've got to go yay. I've got to go yay. I think they're dying out for a goal scorer to be back in the side. They're really missing goals this season. Uh, uh, Burmo's out at the moment whoever's their goal scoring um, you know Reese's away so they, they desperately they need a goal scorer look they, they ain't stupid the Brentford fans they know he probably will move on sooner or later but there's such a big part of the season still left for Brentford and they need results very quickly to get them in? out what about Chelsea would they not go to Chelsea well, I'm sure there'd be loads of clubs in, interested in, in the summer I mean you look at Tottenham have been interested as well so It'd be interesting to see where he does go. Mm. He'll have a pick of quite a few clubs, I should imagine. Whether he wants to stay in London or go, whatever he wants to do, I don't know. So, Palace, but I think yeah. they will be behind him. I okay. think they will be behind him because they know if he can score goals like he's capable of doing, Brentford will be in the Premier League next season. On to Palace. Roy Hodgson was booed after his decision to sub off Starman Eze uh, against Everton uh, in the 1 0 FA Cup defeat this week, just after an hour. Ray, should Palace look to move on from Roy? Yeah or nay, and why? See, I love Roy Hodgson. He's got to be a yay. I really do believe they, they do need to move on. At the end, not, not, not now, at the end, end of the season. season. End of the season, definitely. I mean, it's, it's not worth. Uh, Roy Hodgson moving on now who do they get in they can plan it a little bit better what direction they're going to be going in uh, and I'm sure Palace fans would, would probably agree most of them would probably agree with me there but the most important thing Crystal Palace staying at Premier League this year and that's why he probably bought Eze off he know that early kick off um, but yeah I, I do believe they need to go on a, probably a different route now at the end of the season and mm. the hard bit for Palace is who who they bring in who's going to take them on that different route and uh, and there's got to be a little bit of investment as well uh, the sports bar last night were taking your calls in times you were sacked not long into your job Troy Deeney been sacked uh, now you talked about Gunnar Soros there have a listen to Mark the Chelsea fan story listen well an eight foot cat as the game's going on, I'm doing a little bit of walk around as you do a bit of camaraderie and a bit of banter with like the you know, with the bully ball with the ball and the rugby tackle here and there. And I'm getting hot and I'm getting so hot and I'm carrying on and I'm carrying on. And I don't know what I thought of, but I just removed my head. I literally took my head off in front of all these kids and like I'm a 
now a headless cat. <laughs> and you could just hear everybody just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Mark <laughs> unfairly sacked for taking his head off. McCoy's oh. done it, didn't he, heart to heart? No. Uh, yeah, he? he's definitely He's definitely been... So, yeah, he, he can't be sacked for that, surely. <laughs> if it's <laughs> really hot and you don't feel too well or too good... Surely you, you can't sack him for that. I don't know the mascot rules, to be honest. Uh, well, th- th- there's some classics of the old mascots. I like the uh, one at Watford. He's uh, He gives it all to the away fans. And all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. But uh, no, I, I think that's very harsh. If he's took his head off. A headless cat, it's no problem with that. Uh, after Troy Dean, he was sacked just after <laughs> 29 days. What's the best story you have in your shortest time in a job? Let's have some fun. Give us a call. 03717 Two minutes to nine. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.